Here's another snippet from our Subway's IO R211 content, detailing everything you need to know about these units. Let's dive in. Yet another question we get is how different is the R211s from their Kawasaki sisters, the R160B and r 188 the r 211 subway cars mark a significant departure from their Kawasaki predecessors. Notably, the r 211s have transitioned to Ethernet for their trainline network, abandoning the older Lawnworks standard. This upgrade brings higher bandwidth and speed, crucial for modern applications like video surveillance, real-time diagnostics with an upgraded MDS system, and new passenger information systems that demand rapid data transfer. The benefits of Ethernet extend further, supporting multimedia features like video streaming, onboard Wi-Fi networks, and interactive infotainment systems. This shift not only enhances the passenger experience, but also future-proofs the R211s, ensuring compatibility with emerging technologies. Furthermore, the R211s feature subtle differences in their electrical and communication systems compared to older models. This includes an 84-pin configuration and variations in the low-voltage system. Another change with the electrical system in the R211s is the rail gap detector function. This function is performed using voltage sensors on each car and the traction controller's ability to perform harmonic analysis. This method is different from the hardware used on the older R160s. The primary objective of the rail gap function is to prevent regenerative current from being fed into isolated rail sections. It also ensures that the current collector does not arc and safely re-establishes contact with the third rail once the gap is cleared. Another change. The R211s, similar to the R179, have adopted the A1-A2 car setup, featuring one unpowered truck with a free, unbraked axle. Speed sensors are installed on the ends of this free axle. In the CBTC system, Speed and distance measurements typically rely on tachometers that monitor the rotation of a train's axle. The free axle eliminates the risk of wheel slippage. For the R160s, Kawasaki and Alstom opted for a novel Optical Speed and Position Measurement System, or OSMES, which operates independently of the wheel rail interface as an alternative to tachometers due to the all-axle powered setup. Kawasaki with the R188s also implemented a free axle on their C cars equipped with a tachometer. Curious about what makes the R211 classes of subway cars tick? Subway's I.O. has you covered. We're diving deep into the technical details of the R211 class. Stay tuned for more snippets on Instagram and watch our full video breakdown on YouTube.